Hi everybody and welcome to FunTech Blog. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Activator. Activator is a Cydia tweak that allows you to customize gesture based shortcuts on your iPhone. It's created by Ryan Petrich and can be downloaded over at the Big Boss repo for free. However, if you're interested in his beta releases, you can get it over at his beta repo, which is rpetri.ch slash repo. So Activator is a very important tool because many Cydia tweaks require it to function. It's also a very full featured and you can do a, a lot of things with it. It's not that easy to use. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use it and a lot of cool things you can do with it. So let's begin. So after you download it on Cydia, the icon will appear on your home screen. So just open it up, and here it is. There's also another way of accessing Activator. It's by going into your settings, and then tapping Activator. It's the same thing, except uh, there's just one thing uh, I have to say. is There are advertisements in Activator. Uh, the only reason I don't have them now is because I don't have uh, an internet connection right now. However, you can remove the advertisements by pressing the hard button. And then sending a tweet about Activator. And then you can remove all the ads. And also, uh, there's a, a little Easter egg in it. If you tap and hold the heart, uh, a video appears. I won't show it to you right now because uh, I have to do this tutorial, but uh, you'll be able to watch it uh, when you install it. So let's look at the first four panels. That's where you choose when you want the shortcut to occur. So anywhere at the home screen, in an application, or at the lock screen. Now I'm just going to choose anywhere. And now you have to choose a shortcut, uh, which uh, which is also called an event. So for example, you could choose double press the home button, double tap the clock at the, uh, the lock screen, shake the device, five finger pinch. I'm just going to choose three finger pinch. And now you chose your event or shortcut. And now you have to choose an assignment to go with it. So that means you have to choose what happens when you pinch with three fingers. So you could choose to pause the music. Uh, I'm just going to show an example, which is show the keypad. And look what happens when I pinch the screen. And there we go, the keypad appears. Uh, and we're just going to show some other examples. For example, compose text. And here you go. And you can also toggle the airplane mode. So you get what I'm saying. There's a bit there's a lot more. Also, you could choose two assignments or more at the same time. So, for example, you can choose Compose Text and Show the Keypad. So, so now they're going to ask me if I want to just show the keypad or assign multiple. So I'm going to say Assign Multiple. And so when I pinch, it's going to show the keypad and show the text, uh, text box for a new message. So that's pretty useful. You could also uh, get extensions for Activator. There's a lot that are available on Cydia. So for example, uh, Notes Creator. So whenever I do my event, uh, a notepad is going to show up. So check it out. Here we go. I could just create a note. and then just save it and there you go I'm just gonna keep it that way and that's pretty much it that's the basics of Activator so now I'm going to show you custom events and custom assignments 
So for custom events, you just uh, have to choose where you want the action to be created, and then tap more on the top right. And here you go, you have a lot. So for example, battery charges, icon level tap, icon hold. Um, so I'll just tap scheduled. So when a specific time passes. So I'll choose uh, the weekday. So every weekday at 9, uh, 9.30. Or, uh, yeah, 9.30. So let's say that every day, uh, except the weekend, at 9.30, I have a class at school. So, when I have a class, I want to turn on airplane mode. So, just create 9.30. And then, go down and tap airplane mode. And here you go. So now if you set you set it up so that every weekday at 9:30 the uh, airplane mode turns on. So it's quite useful. I'm also going to show you uh, custom assignments. So let's look at um Drag along the screen right from top to bot uh, top to bottom. Uh, I mean bottom to top. And then tap more. So now you have custom actions. So let's say set the brightness. I'll tap set the brightness to fifty percent. Press save. And then scroll down until your custom brightness was created. Tap 50%. And look what happens when I scroll on the right of the screen from top to bottom. My brightness is set to 50%. So that's it. Okay, so now this is the fun part, which is showing you examples of cool things you can do. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you, um, it's an alternate way of bringing up the app, the app switcher. Well, first, there's a, a spreading three fingers. But my favorite way that I like to use is swiping up on the right of the screen. So, I'll show you right now, like this. Okay, I'll show you again like this so it's really cool you don't need to press your home button to change the app switcher and it's a lot f faster uh, there's another trick that I have with activator is to uh, quickly compose messages or Facebook posts so for example I have an activator action which is whenever I swipe up on the Facebook app I can compose a Facebook post and I'll show you the same thing with messages, where I can quickly compose a message. So, here you go. And there it is. So it's uh, very convenient. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, quickly toggling Wi-Fi and airplane mode. So, whenever I swipe left, I disable airplane mode. Uh, I, I toggle the airplane mode. Whenever I swipe right, I toggle the Wi-Fi. So I'll show it again. Swipe right, toggle the Wi-Fi. There's uh, also another thing that I really like, which is whenever I shake my phone, I open up the cameras. So it's very easy to take a quick picture. Also, uh, whenever I connect my earphones, the volume lowers to 30%. Whenever I swipe down from the top of the screen, I could quickly create a note. Like this. I'll show it again. Like this. Whenever I swipe up from the bottom right, I mean bottom left, I can open the last app that was used. So, like this. So, that's, that is uh, one of the most useful things. These are my most uh, useful ones. However, you can uh, 
Just use your imagination, there are a lot more that you can use. Okay, so let's talk about menus. Menus is when you want to have many assignments to show up. So uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So you tap menus, and then let's add a new menu. So we're going to call it, what music would you like to listen to? And then, we're going to add three music or video apps. So the first one I'm going is the music app. Right here. And then I'm going to choose good reader. And then I'm going to choose uh, Instatube, which is an app that saves YouTube videos. And so there. I've created my menu, and now I'm going to choose when I want the menu to show up. And now I'm going to say whenever I plug in my earphones, or headphones. All the way at the bottom, then you have to tap uh, connected, whenever it's connected to the device. And now I'm going to scroll down and choose what mu music would you like to listen to. And there you go. And so whenever I connect my earphones, th uh, this menu shows up and I'll show you how it works. So I'll just connect my earphones. And there you go. So it's very useful because, uh, let's say you just, whenever you connect your earphones, um, just uh, music shows up. So it's uh, very convenient. And that's how it works. So now I'm going to show you some cool and useful ways you can use menus. So I'm just going to tap menus right here. And the first one that I've created is whenever I flick up on the Safari icon, I get a menu showing me some alternate apps to Safari uh, to browse the web. So let's say I want to use I want to go on the internet, but uh, I don't want to use Safari. I want to use something else. I just have to flick up on the on the icon, and there you go. A bunch of alternate apps to Safari pop up. Also, whenever I press and hold the sleep button, uh, a bunch of options show up. So I'll show you how it works, and here you go. I press and hold the sleep button and. I get the option to send it into safe mode, respring, reboot, or power down. Also, uh, there's the what music, what music would you like to listen to, which I showed you, and there's the favorites launcher. So on Cydia, there's a lot of app launchers, and uh, some are free, some cost money, but you can create that the same thing with Activator by swiping. So. Uh, the activation method for me is swiping to the right, so here here it is. So whenever I swipe to the right, a bunch of apps that I use a lot show up. So uh, it's just convenient to quickly open up an app. I'll talk about the other one later. So uh, these are basically a few ways you can use menus to your advantage, but there are a lot more. So now I'm going to show you a handy feature called Profiles. So scroll down to the bottom, tap Profiles, and now we're in the default profile. So look what happens when I scroll down from the top. So I swipe down and see, uh, I can create a note. So whenever I swipe down from the top, a notepad appears. And so I'm just going to create um, a new profile called School. And look what, and uh, now when I swipe down, nothing happens. 
So, let's say that uh, whenever I'm at school, I want airplane mode to turn on at 1 o'clock. So, I tap more. I scroll down and tap scheduled. And then I tap at 1 o'clock. And press save. And press done. And then scroll down. So I'll tap 1 o'clock right here. And just tap airplane mode turns on. And there you go. So whenever uh, the school profile turns on, airplane mode turns on at 1 o'clock. So let's say you have a class you have a class at one o'clock. Um, you're you'll be sure that airplane mode turns on at one o'clock, in order to save some battery. But there, you could also choose when uh, you want the profile to turn on. So let's say that uh, when I, whenever I connect to the school Wi-Fi, the wi uh, the school profile turns on. So I tap joined Wi-Fi network, network name, and just tap like whatever school, Wi-Fi, and then press save, press done, scroll down, and tap join school Wi-Fi. And so whenever you join the school Wi-Fi, the school profile will turn on. And there you go. So th there's a lot of things you can do with this, and that's just how you use it. Okay, so that's it. That is how to use Activator, guys. I hope you liked the tutorial. Um, so I've been writing tutorials and reviews and articles for about uh, three years on my uh, blog, but this is my first video, so it's not perfect. Um, it's going to get better over the few couple uh, next weeks. So I hope you like it. Um, feedback is welcome. And uh, be sure to look at my uh, written tutorial because it has uh, a bit more things in it. It's a bit more uh, complete. So that's it. Bye.